If you love WebEx meetings after this video, you would love it even 10 times more. Stay tuned as I'll take you through the latest top 10 features of new WebEx meetings, making it one of the best online meetings platforms today. So let's get started. Hi, my name is Deepak. And if you want to learn what's new in productivity and collaboration space, then you're at the right place. Subscribe to my channel to get all the latest updates and tutorials. So the first feature in my list is embedded apps inside WebEx meetings. So now you get access to embedded apps, allowing you to access 30 plus apps inside your WebEx meeting. Once in WebEx meeting, you will see the apps icon on the bottom tray. And if you click on it, you will see all the list of the apps and you can click on any app to add it to your meeting and make your meeting more productive. I'll quickly show you two of my favorite must have apps. One is Slido, which gives power of collaboration to your meetings in form of polls and Q&A. So just click on it and it open up a new window where you would see polls and Q&A. In polls, you get multiple choice quiz, word cloud, rating, and Q&A section, you can interact with your audience live. Another one is Mural, which is a great whiteboarding app. If you open it, you can drag the app from the middle to make it even bigger. Here I can create a new whiteboard or open an existing one. Open together option will open the app for other participants in the meeting and they can collaborate at the same time, taking collaboration to a new level. Second one in my list is Immersive Share which brings more fun and feel to your presentation. To start Immersive Share, click Share on the bottom tray and then choose Show Me in front of the presentation and choose what you want to share. For example, I want to share my Notion window. So now you will see me inside my Notion workspaces talking about my LinkedIn strategies, just like a weatherman. Third feature related to sharing is you can now share multiple application at the same time on both Windows and Mac. So if you're already sharing your screen, then go to sharing menu, select sharing content drop down, and here you would see existing sharing application and you can choose any other application you want to share. Once shared, you can go to the preview orange bar and see the number of application you're sharing. So very handy when you're talking to a client and you want to share multiple applications at the same time. Fourth one in my list is muting duration clock. If you want to keep track of your time within your meeting, WebEx has finally got the timer inside your meetings. Once you're in the meeting, on the top right, you would see a timer running. So finally, you can track your meetings and make sure your meetings are short and effective. So feature number five, you can now get a floating mini window when you're multitasking or have another app open besides your meeting. Just make sure when you go to your profile picture, you have preferences, journal, multitasking option is enabled. You will see who is speaking and you can hide the video and you'd also see meeting controls like mute, video, share content and end meeting such a handy feature when you are multitasking. Next one in my list is one of the best innovations of recent times for meetings. It is called WebEx Smart Audio. Eliminates any background noise or people talking in the background. So to enable this, when you are in a meeting, click audio menu and you would see powerful smart audio options. First in the list is noise removal, which removes any background noise. Second one is optimize for my voice, which removes background noise plus any background voice like people talking in the background. And this is what I keep mostly in my meeting settings to keep any distraction away. And third one is music mode, which enhances the quality of instruments perfect for live performances. So such a cool thing to have inside your meetings. Another cool feature which I believe is only available in WebEx is that it now recognizes your hand gestures and converts them to reactions. 
I love them because I no longer need to manually go to each reaction and click on it. Each time I want to clap or give someone a thumbs up, I can just wave or just start clapping. Just click reactions icon and to enable this, just click reactions icon and I can choose the skin tone, turn, recognize my hand gestures and that's it. You can now start making hand gestures like thumbs up or I can raise my hand in the meeting without even clicking on any options. Everyone in the meeting would be able to see it besides your video. Now feature number eight, join a meeting from search for both Windows and Mac. So you can now join meetings from the search bar. Yes, you heard it right. Just type the meeting number and you get a big green join button. You can also use video address, a meeting link or the personal room link. So join a meeting, whatever way you prefer. Easy. Feature number nine is you now get connect to a calendar option inside your meetings for both Windows and Mac. So you can manage your meetings and events from your Microsoft 365 calendar directly in WebEx app. If you go to meetings calendar in the app, you get an option to connect your calendar. And if you click on it, you can use your Microsoft 365 account to sync all your meeting and calendar information. If your calendar is already set up by your organization, then you won't be able to change it. So the last feature is related to meetings recording. So now you get one click access to recording options. So if you click on record, then you will see pause and stop the recording. And if you click on pause, you get an option to resume. You can resume your recording and you can also stop the recording altogether. All this right from the record button inside your meeting control. I hope you like this video. Please do like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.